What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Garnet Tools. Today I have a review of the Snap-on EECT 400 circuit tester or what us mechanics like to call it, a test light. Now, this light in particular features their uh, Snap-on Instinct handle design which is pretty comfortable in the hand it's kind of a little little thick here around the uh, the neck area but it's pretty comfortable the rest of the tool features a three and a half inch long probe a removable guard so you don't come into contact with other circuits a six foot long uh, elastic I guess you would call it coiled cord it has a fully copper alligator clip as an end which is also booted the whole tool comes in around eight and a quarter inches and also the end features a o-ring to prevent moisture from getting to the board and the big the big feature of this test light is that it has this LED which displays voltage if I flip it around and show you the uh, label on the tool it lists the voltage range as being 3 volts to 9.9 .9 volts. Back here is also the product number. This O at the end indicates the color of cable or cord you got. It's available in orange, green, red, and black. The black one will just simply not have a O at the end. It also has the patent number, and I, re I did look into this, and it is owned by Snap-on, this patent. Another thing it has is the year or date code, which this one indicates it was made in 2014. So the tool is advertised as being computer safe with if you can make out there it's it says it's only has 10 milliamps of current draw draw 10 milliamps or less is what it actually the website lists on this tool but this tool is offered in three versions okay this one at ninety dollars which is the cheapest it's the 12 volt version with the alligator clip on the end of the hose or the cord there's also a different version that is identical in design to this but it has a cigarette lighter or car charger end on the plug so that version is a hundred dollars the website listed as 99.99 snap-on's website and snap-on's website lists this tool as being 89.99 there's also one more version it is 24 volt version of this exact tool it its voltage range is between six instead of three and 46 I believe instead of 19.9 now if I can for a moment give you a demonstration of the tool I'll take it out of the way for a sec and right here I have two 
brand new Duracell batteries. 9 volts. And a meter. So if we switch it over to DC voltage and I check each battery it shows this battery at 9.51 volts and for a later purpose I'll write it on a battery Nine fifty one. So if we move to the next battery, steady nine fifty two. So, both 9.5 volts. Ah, we'll switch to the tool and see what it reads. If I connect the alligator clip to the negative, and there you have it. 9.4 volts so the website snap-on's website lists this tool as well as the other two versions being accurate at plus or minus 0.3 volts so as you can see it's well within range of its operating if i do it on the second battery You can see again that the tool displays 9.4 volts. 9.3. So, well within range of their advertised specs. So, if I go ahead and reverse the polarity, I'll show you what it does then. As you can see, it now lights up green, but at the same voltage. It also shows you the negative symbol. It lights up green for reverse parity, polarity, that's positive to negative. And it lights up red whenever you have a positive with the alligator clip connected to a negative so if I may I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like with the lights off so under little to no light here's what it looks like and if I reverse it And show you the red there's what that looks like so I have another example to show you and I'll go ahead and show you now to show you how this works I have I'm in a car I have this motor controller which as you can tell blew up before I go ahead and replace it I want to know why it blew up and so if I take my lead put it on a battery ground or frame ground and I'm gonna go ahead and test my circuits 
but I'm going to do this while cycling the motor speed. So I just put it in speed one. As you can see, this larger, the largest diameter cable I have. If I can get the thing on here, there we go. I have voltage. Looks like at all times. A little orange wire, nothing. What's that one? The black one, nothing. Next one, nothing. Next one, nothing. And there we go. Low speed, yellow wire. So we'll do the next speed. I think it goes yellow, brown. And then blue, purple. So yeah, I'm right. That's the brown wire. I'll check the next speed. I think it's blue. Yep. And then purple. Yep. So, it looks like I have in the finally the highest speed will be the high mode and I have voltage at the second orange wire. So it looks like I have two lows, two mediums, and a high. The black would be ground, and this would be power. But, as you can see, the, the test light accurately displays what I have currently. And it pretty much makes it... Uh, an invaluable tool because you can sit here and check wires like this instead of popping out a meter and trying to get in there with two two hands to check every wire so as you can see this is a pretty good tool I love this tool this is this is the best test light and it's other versions or the best test lights money can buy you can get other uh, LED digital LED test lights but they're not from snap-on they're not made as well as this tool is made the who knows if you you get a test light similar to this or circuit tester similar to this and you blow up the board which I've done once already if you can see it's a little blurry through the case there that's where it created a bit, pretty big uh, black spot it blew up that resistor you see through the case there but the board is replaceable so if you do exceed the operating range it will possibly blow this board or that resistor in there and the board the replaceable board is $45 or at least that's what my snap-on dealer charged me to replace this board so it's not really a warranted thing because again it's really up to you to to damage the tool it doesn't it's not like a manufacturer defect they don't consider that a warrantable item so like I was saying if you source this or get this tool from a different manufacturer is that board going to be replaceable can you then have a part compatible with the tool you bought go into this to to your tool and make it work again your guess is as good as mine because I, I don't deal with them. I deal with this tool. 
this is even though this comes in at ninety dollars this is pretty it's invaluable as a as a diagnostic tool because you can as you saw you can poke around with one hand and view your readings while you have a free hand to do other things so now it's worth to note that the tool and its counterparts its how do you say relatives the similar products the 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 EECT 401 which would be the one with the car charger end and the EECT 425 which would be the 24 volt version they are all made in Korea so if that turns you off I guess this is not the tool for you and you should look for other sources but this was 90 bucks the EECT 401 the one with the car charger end is a hundred bucks and I believe the EECT 425 is around four or 124 125 something like that so that was my review of the snap-on digital LCD test light so make sure you like comment subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching